Hello all you lens creators and welcome to another Basics with Ben tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to import, edit, and play your own 3D animations within Lens Studio. So to import your animations you'll need to use the FBX format and Lens Studio supports joint animations, transform animations, vertex animations or PLA, and blend shape animations. So the first step is to import your FBX file into Lens Studio. Let's get started. And once your FBX file is imported into Lens Studio, if you open up the folder in the resources panel, you'll see that it created a yellow prefab object. All you need to do is drag that prefab object into the scene panel. And if you click on the object, you'll see that it has an animation mixer component attached to it. You'll see that the animation is playing automatically by default. If you don't want it to play automatically, just uncheck autoplay. So you can edit your animations in a single timeline. In the animation mixer, select the clip view. Here you can see the start and the stop times in the animation where it says from and to. You can also see the offset that can shift the entire animation start and stop times. The range type allows you to specify your animation time in frames or seconds. The cycles control how many times your animation plays. The negative one value means that it'll play forever. The weight will determine how much influence the object's joints will have when they animate and the speed controls how fast the animation plays. So by adding a clip to the clip view and changing the different parameters, you can customize your animation into smaller sections, which will be useful if you want to have different animations occur depending on the user's input. Let's split this animation into two clips and use the behavior script to play both of these animations when the user taps the screen. If you're going to be playing your animations using a script, make sure to uncheck autoplay, otherwise the script won't be able to reference it. In the Objects panel, click Add New, Helper Scripts, Behavior. For this example, we'll have the idle animation playing when the lens starts, so we'll turn the trigger to Lens Turned On. We'll change the response to Animate Mesh. We'll select the Animation Mixer and copy in the first clip's layer name. We'll also want to check Loop to make sure that the idle animation plays over and over. We'll keep the action set to Play or Resume. Then we'll copy the Behavior Script component in the Inspector panel and paste right underneath it. Then we'll change the trigger to touch event and in the response we'll change the layer name from idle to jump and uncheck loop. When the jump animation starts playing, we'll want the idle animation to stop playing. So let's copy and paste this behavior script, change the layer name back to idle and then change the action to stop. And finally, we'll want the idle animation to start playing again once the jump animation ends. So let's copy and paste this one more time change the trigger to animation end, change the animation type to animation mixer and select our animation mixer, then add the jump layer name. In the response, we just need to change the action from stop to play and check loop. Now when the user taps the screen, it plays both clips using custom logic and we didn't need to write a single line of code. Now you're ready to add your own custom 3D animations to your lens quickly as well as create multiple custom animations to make your lenses more interactive and immersive.